So today I want to show you guys what my winter add-on sale extra winter box that I purchased was looks like for FabFitFun. And for those of you out there that don't know what FabFitFun is, it is a seasonal or annual membership. Annual, you will be paying once a year. The total for four months, all four seasons, and you end up only spending like 175 to 180 on it. And the seasonal members, they pay once a season $50. So you do get a little bit of a value if you do an annual membership. And for those of you who wanna just do it seasonally to see if you even like it, then you will pay every season. It'll be a $50 charge. And in between each of these seasons, they have sales as the add-on sale which happens right when you do customization. Customization for each one comes at two different times. If you do the annual one, then you will get it for, um, I think it's maybe three weeks before the seasonal people do it, and you get to do five different categories. And annual's better because you do get to have a broader array of like items that you could pick because by time seasonal comes up I do find that you end up like losing kind of your options because of other people picking those options from the annual so they do tend to run out a little bit but today I am going to show you ladies from the add-on sale that happened when I did my customization I decided to buy an extra winter box just to see what goodies I could get in it and I got to do no customizing of this box FabFitFun picked it all out of all eight categories and I want to dig into this box stay tuned though at the end of this video so that I can tell you ladies how to what is it like a five dollar starter box how to get a five dollar starter box which is valued at seventy five dollars and i will let you guys know at the very end so let's get into this bad boy you guys want to see what it looks like mm, isn't it pretty <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so excited all right let's see I'm going to loop it around so that my face isn't blurred out too much, although I'm more... Ooh, they put the magazine in it. So the magazine here is going to tell us exactly what comes in each category, what our options could have been, and what the value is. Also inside this magazine, they have like crossword puzzles, and they have little articles, and depending on um, the products that you get, it kind of tells you like, you know, what you could do with the with the items and things like that. So let's go ahead and dig in and see. I haven't looked at one of these yet. Self-care checklist, ooh, I like that. But yeah, there's all kinds of things on the front of this and let's see. We do have a couple of little flyers. So we got a HelloFresh, nine free meals. Of course, you gotta pay for other meals. Oh, here we go. Here's a $15 off your first FabFitFun box. Go ahead and take a screenshot. And you can at least, if you decide to try the box, then you'd only have to pay $35 for the season because you only pay by the season at first unless you want to do an annual. Comes with the cool little sticker. Now, I've already got my FabFitFun box, the one that I curated for myself. But, uh, you know, I wanted to show you guys this one because it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, I'd like to know if you do a little, like, test at the beginning of it to kind of tell them about yourself a little bit. And i like to see if they really got a feel of, like, who I am, what I like, what I don't like, things like that. And let's go. So, for our first category, let's get to it. We have the option of them sending us a Vera Bradley compact organizer, um, some Bombshby, let's see, champagne flutes, an unhide little marshmallow blanket, some lowly tea seed elixir, and then there's a robe, a Summer and Rose brand robe. There are some Kate Spade earrings. Ooh, those are really pretty. 
And then there is this little Mobile White Advanced Teeth Whitening Kit. So for the first category, it looks like they have sent me the blanket. This thing is really soft too. It is called Unhide Little Marshmallow Blanket. And on the back it says, Fluffy, furry, friendly, fresh, fresh and faux. Let's see, no animals were harmed in the making of this faux blanket. So it's really soft as you can see and really plush. And if you look at the inside of it, let me open it up just a bit. It looks like it's more velvety on the inside or blur. I don't know the name of that, or whatever. But it is very soft. It does, it feels like um, either I would say like a bunny or maybe chinchilla I think is what this was supposed to be, I'm not sure. But super soft, I'm glad I got it. It will make an excellent Christmas present for somebody. That's why I don't wanna open it and show you guys the inside, but I think you get an idea of just how soft this sucker is. All right, so for the next category, category two, customization you could get the lily pulitzer ceramic mugs these two those are really pretty actually the caudalie vino source moisturizing survey over here or the mirrored wrap in collagen infusion that's right there um algenis complete eye renewal balm that would be this one right here you can see gosh i hope you guys can see i never whatever um, you get the idea. Lucky Brand Solid Brushed Scarf. Um, Elia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara. Allura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Dr. Brandt Skin Care Pores No More Pore Refining Cleanser. And then also there is this Impressions Vanity Mirror. And it looks like they have sent me the Vanity Mirror. Right here. That is what it looks like. I actually have one of my own that I received in my box because I needed like a smaller little vanity mirror to go um, so I could get like close up plucking and primping and prodding and you know, all that stuff. And it works really well. It comes actually with the batteries in it because it's got two sources of being able to be connected for the light that goes, there's a light around the ring of it. And it's got two sources. You could either use batteries or you could plug it in with like a USB cord. And it does like dim down and it, it gets really bright once you've had it on for a second. I notice with mine that it kind of like the bulbs when they first come on, they're a little bit dimmer. But after they've warmed up a little bit, they really brighten things up. So that's what I got for that. Whoa. And then the next thing that I got, category three, we have the Dr. Brandt Skin Pore Dermabrasion, Lily Sadoe Maroon Velvet Headband, the Kate Spade New York Workout Socks. Well, they've had Kate Spade in two of these categories, the first one and now the third. Tula Skin Care Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, Muck Lux Cabin Socks. Vior Hair Care Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask, Flight Mode Skin Care High Altitude Hydration Mask. Um, the, the one is a hair care mask and the other one is a face mask, the um, Flight Mode. Uh, Butanique Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels and the Apare Cutting Board Set of Four. What's cool about those cutting boards that I noticed is that each one has, tells you exactly what you should cut up on it because you should never mix like your your meats with what you use to you know cut your vegetables or like fruit or anything like that on. You should never like cross contaminate apparently. So it looks like for this category, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? <gasps> Found it. I got the Dr. Brandt Pore Aderma Barrasion right there. It says it helps refine the appearance of pores, deep cleans pores, helps smooth the appearance of pores and skin texture. Ooh, pore Perfecting Exfoliator. 
Beauty Choice Product New Beauty Winner Award. I don't know when I got it. That's from this year, but not. Let's see. Obsessively targeted exfoliator featuring physical and chemical exfoliation with pore perfection ingredients to keep clean and refine the pores. So I've actually heard a couple things about this specific um, item itself. Um, I guess it's comparable to like a pore derm abrasion type um, process that you would have done inside of a um, clinic or something like that, but it's not as abrasive. But it apparently it does just as well. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to check it out though because this is something I think I might keep out of the box and not gift. I'm not sure who I would gift it for. You know, it depends on people's skin types, and I don't want to try to figure out somebody's skin type and then give it to them and find out if they've got, like, sensitive skin or, you know, whatever. They don't like something that's, like, you know, a poor derm abrasion or something like that because these th items can be very, you know, harsh on some sensitive, more sensitive skin. So I'm going to check that out myself and see how it does. Not to say that big colors or anything, but mm, you guys tell me. <laughs> All right, our next category, category four, I think we're on. We could have gotten the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. Dry Shampoo Apple I wonder if that would smell good. Apple Cider Vinegar. That's kind of... Um, the other items, we could have got a Wish Lip Scrub and Vanilla Bean. Um, a Paradox Lucky Stars Blemish Patches, the Below the Belt Crack Card Case, uh, what else? These couldn't have all come in one. No, it's not. So I think just the first three. It would be the first three. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so the first three, the DP Hue Cider Vinegar Shampoo Powder, the Wish Lip Scrub, or the Blemish Patches. It looks like they sent me the Blemish Patches. These are actually kind of cool. Like, I don't get very many pimples, um, but I guess, like, if I would, then, like, that would be fun to just, like, to put, like, a star on my face, like... Maybe look like I got a cool tattoo or something. Post a picture make everybody think I got a new tattoo. Yeah, right. I'll get laughed at. Like, what is wrong with you? You're too old for these games. <laughs> but these look really cool. I'm I'm gonna actually try these also. I'm really weird about gifting like skincare products because I just don't know. Like I do have an older daughter that might love something like this, but she is very, very, very um, aware of what she uses on her skin. Like, she doesn't use aloe and stuff like that. And, you know, honestly, I don't blame her. Like, there's all this information out there nowadays online. You can kind of decide what you want to use once you get, like, facts about different chemicals and, you know, things like that. So the next category, let's show you. The below the belt starts in that category. That's the crack card case or the Daily Concepts uh, Daily Facial Dry Brush. And I think the Nior, Nior, Nor, Nor, <laughs> whatever, Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies. Um, what did they send me? They sent me the dry brush. Look at that! I got the dry brush. Huh. Like, isn't dry brushing, like, really hard? Like, I'm kind of concerned. Like, doesn't it consist of a really hard brush that just, like, hurts? Oh, well, this one's not... This one's actually really soft. I was kind of concerned for a minute. Like, I don't think I want to use an upward motion. But yeah, this one's actually really soft. This is what it looks like. Pretty neat. This is next to my hand, and I've got a very deep hair. This is next to my hand, so not bad. All right. That's cool. I'll try it. Why not? I do do some dry brushing, but that's why I was stopped almost dead in my tracks for a second. I'm like, you guys want me to dry brush my face? <laughs> like, 
wait a minute. <laughs> no wonder you're sending all these crazy <laughs> creams and stuff for your to moisturize your skin. You guys want me to beat on it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But let's go to our third. Okay, this, okay. So on this page, I was wrong. So I did get the Dr. Brandt. But there was another category. It's very, very hard to tell what categories are in what. Because this is three separate categories. Yeah, this is three separate categories. And I didn't know it. They're not, you guys like might think, but like look at the way they do it. Like 3D, 3E, 4A. Like it's not done where it's just like straight across like that. Although I think that's how it's supposed to be done. But I'm not sure. I never really look at these. I don't really care about the value of things. It's a matter of if I'm going to use it or not and what what I would pay for something like that. So at the end of this, I will put the value of the box down because the, these boxes are supposed to be well worth over $200. And they definitely are. But, like, it's more like what would you – like, if you get a whole bunch of stuff, like, that you're never going to use, it's like, okay, so this box didn't really – it was, like, worth 30 bucks to me because I only used, like, two things out of it. So that is something, you know. So I did get the, it looks like the Tula Skin Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I do have the blue one. It is a deep puffing balm, and it feels really good. I like to put it on under my eyes. And I've also actually got another brand that I like to use. It's by uh, Milk Makeup. I think I've got an extra one actually sitting back here. It's by Milk Makeup. This is a mini, so this is what I carry with me, like, you know, when I go out and about, and it doesn't leave, you know, any kind of residue or shininess or anything on your face, although this one, it looks like it does, because it is Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Eye Brightening Balm, and this is a really good brand, Tula is, so I'm actually really excited to get this and try it. I can't, I can't recall how much I paid for my other one, but it looks like... Let's see if it's in here. It is. It's roughly about $30. I didn't pay that much for mine, but yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it. So there was another category that I had missed, and like I said, these aren't really categorized. So I did also receive the Guardian Angel, it looks like, Replenishing Eye Gels. Now, I don't really know what's in this box, even though you usually do get to, like, customize. Like I said, this was an add-on box. I just, I went into the add-on sale when I got to customize my actual box, and I purchased an extra winner box that was going to come to me completely random, and it was $10 less than what it would be if you was to just, like, open up, like, a couple different seasonal accounts, which, that's just too much. That's too crazy. So I've got my annual account. You know, I pay for the full year, and then I get to customize early. I get choice on everything, except for, you know, unless something runs out and I get into, you know, my, making my choice late, but I usually don't. Usually set an alarm, but these are cooling eye gels. And this is what they kind of look like. They look like little wings, like little angel wings to put on under your eyes. And I'm actually really excited to try these. Actually a lot. Hero, hero Ingredients. Cucumber, rose extract, green tea, hyaluronic acid, brighten, hydrate, and depa. Wow. My eyes are going to be amazing. Between this and the Tula stick, my, like, beautiful. I can't wait. <laughs> so let's go to this very last category that I just left off and bounced around on. And I want to, let's see. So I had a choice of the London Town Get Well Nail Recovery. I need it too. There's like no. And then the Phase Zero Makeup Making Moves Blusher. So it looks like I received the blusher. How cute! This is actually really like perfect for your purse for purse size. Like to take with you. Sorry, I'm trying to see what the ingredients are or anything it just says blusher it's called making moves making moves oh yeah making moves oh yeah okay wait i got it 
I gotta go open it. I wanted to open it to show you guys. I'm not gonna touch it because this is something I may gift to somebody. Like, I kind of already have an idea of what I may gift to people and what I may not. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. Wow. Really, Katrina? Jesus. Load it. There we go. Ooh. Is that showing up on screen? Is that, like, really pretty? I don't want to touch it because I, I didn't get it in my other box, so I can't just, like, replace it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah? I hope so. Well. It's got, like, a little bit of a sheen to it, like a little bit of a shimmer. I really like it. So, that is everything that came in to my add-on sale mystery winter box. No, it was going to be a winter box. It's a complete mystery of what I was going to get. And that is from the FabFitFun add-on sale. Um, so, I guess the only other thing I have to add is to let you guys know that I have free starter boxes to give out. What I would need is I would need your email or your phone number. So if you want to comment down in the comments that you're interested, I will reach out to you. I will send you the link for you guys to be able to get a five free $5 starter box. So it's like 70 worth $75 as I've stated. I tried the starter box months back before I ever decided to like hop on board with this whole fab fit fun thing. I've only been a member. This is my third box. When when you sign up, if you're in between seasons, then what you're going to do is you're going to end up getting what's called a member's pick box. And I think you get to pick a couple items from that, from what I remember, like from the first three categories or something. Or they give you an option. You can always ask for an option when you sign up. You know, you contact customer service. So that it's not all completely a surprise. But you cannot do that with the starter box. They send you $75 worth of whatever it is they feel they want to put in the box you can kind of get an idea by just youtubing like fabfitfun starter boxes 2020 and it'll show you kind of what has come on some other boxes from other ladies so if that's something that you would definitely be interested in then go ahead and reach out to me i will send you a starter box i think i've got like six of them that i can send out i'm pretty sure and um I hope you like this video, subscribe, hit like, and ring that little bell so that you'll know when I've always posted.